there's a guy I've known for a really, really long time. He's probably one of the best sleight of hand guys uh, for gambling. So he gets hired out into games to win money. So, so does that mean like someone that knows they've got some big people coming in with lots of cash, they'll say, who can we get to take their money? And then this guy gets a call. Yeah, him and his crew, or just him, or whatever, and they go in and, you know, they, they, t they take uh, the take. And when you say they take it, they don't literally steal it. No, they, no, no, yeah. they play cards or whatever the game is, and, you know, they have an edge, and over several hours, that edge keeps multiplying. And what's this guy's edge? Put Samarium Cobalt inside, which is for magnet. Then you cover this back up with the same kind of paint. He, he's a really good technician. They can crack it open and do everything. That's the strongest cheap move in dice. You know, I, yeah, I, I don't know if he wants to be interviewed, but I could give him a call. His, his name is Doc. I would love to meet him. And I'll explain the whole situation, and maybe you guys can work something out with him. I would love to just see but it. I'd just rather see him, it. him uh, talk about it than me. Yeah, sure. Because I don't know what, uh, sure. <laughs> what I should say. For obvious reasons, this is the first time Doc has ever appeared on camera. And it's fine if I call you Doc. Yeah. Okay. Firstly, thanks for taking the time. You're Thank not you a, for coming. You're not an easy person to find, <laughs> and I think that's by choice. How does someone like you get started? Well, this was my get-rich-quick scheme. I thought after I sit at the table and play, I think I would win a whole bunch of money and be happy. Time and pass, and I found out that money don't bring happiness. Mm -hmm. See what I'm trying to say? But this would not get rich quick scheme without selling drugs or doing anything illegal. If you do get caught gambling, it's a misdemeanor. People aren't going to the police and go, hey, this guy cheated me. Well, uh, how can you prove that yeah, I cheated that, you? That's what I'm saying. First of all, you have to know what you're looking for. Yeah. If you don't know what you're looking for, why did you keep on playing with me? Oh, well, you were nice. Well, and you lost. Yeah. And the only reason you lost and you got into this game is because you was greedy. You wanted extra money. Oh. So now you stepped on my turf. If I don't cheat, I don't eat. In our game, we say fair exchange is not a robbery. If you can teach me something, I'll teach you something. Sure. But cold decking is a million dollar move. When I, I say it's a million dollar move, I mean, if I sit in front of a million, I'm getting up a million. I'm not guessing I'm going to win. I know I'm going to win. Let me tell you why. Because the deck is set up in the bathroom mm -hmm. to give me the winning hand. I'm not mm -hmm. guessing I'm going to win. I know I'm going to win. If you were going to switch in a deck that is ready to be, you know, to make you win, you don't want to be the person dealing. I'm a, I don't want to deal. You, so switch, you switch the deck in on the sucker. So I'm going to play the sucker. You're going to play the sucker, and, no. you're gonna, and you're going to deal out the cards. OK. Doc's moves were so good, our cameras couldn't even pick it up. So I asked him to switch between two different colored decks so we could actually see when he was cheating. Mm -hmm. Sir, go on a deal. It didn't help. Oh, my god, that's so good. The guy goes over here, he said, let me get the cards. Cards again. This is how people will shuffle. And some, what time, sometimes people cut the cards on the table, mm -hmm. and you straighten up and say, go ahead, sir, deal. <laughs> oh, it's so good. 